Kumusta mga kamatibay? Nandito na tayo sa ating part 2 ng ating arithmetic sequence. Sana po meron naman kayong matutunan sa video ito. Tara, simulan na natin. Ang topic natin ay arithmetic sequence pa rin. Objective, identify the missing term of an arithmetic sequence using counting or adding method and using formula. Okay, ito po yung mga given arithmetic sequence. Number 1, merong 12, 24, 36, 48, dalawang missing term, 84, din yung pangatlo ay 21st term. Yan, tatlo po yung missing term ng number 1. Number 2, merong 3, 12, 21, 30, 39, anim na missing term, 102, and the 28th term. Yan po, marami yung missing term. Excited na ba kayong hanapin yung mga missing term? Tara, hanapin na natin yung mga missing term. First, we have a counting or adding method. Yan po yung mga given arithmetic sequence. Tatlong missing terms yung hanapin. Okay, unang-una, of course, kailangan natin ng mga steps. Step number one. Place the arithmetic sequence in a table form. So, pwede horizontal, pwede ring vertical. Parang ganito. Diba? Then next, count how many numbers is added to obtain the next term. Halimbawa po, yung first term at saka second term. First term natin is 12, second term is 24. So, bibilang lang tayo. From 12, bilang tayo ng number hanggang 24. So, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. How many numbers yung dinagdag? 12 numbers po yon. So, pwede rin po kayong gumamit ng second term at saka third term. 12 din po ang result nun. At ang 12 na yon ay ang tinatawag na common difference. So, 12 ang ating common difference. Sa part 1 po ng ating video, ang pagkuha po ng common difference ay pag-subtract ng second term by the first term. Yun po ang pinaka-easy way sa pagkuha ng common difference or D. Proceed tayo sa step 3. Para mahanap ang missing term, kailangan lang nating i-add ang common difference sa mga term. Kagaya niyan. First term natin ay 12 plus 12, 24. Plus 12, 36. Plus 12, 48. Tingnan nyo po, yung 48 ay nasa fourth term na. Plus 12, makukuha na natin yung missing term, which is the fifth term. That is 60. Para makuha naman yung next term, kailangan natin mag-add ng 12, which is 72. Ayun, nahanap natin ang dalawang missing term. Try kaya natin mag-add ng 12. Kung lalabas ba talaga yung 84. Ayun po, 84 talaga yung next term. Pansinin nyo po, yung 84 ay nasa 7th term pa lang. Meron pa tayong isang missing term which is the 21st term. So ilang term pa yung kailangan nating gawin? Kailangan pa natin ng 14th term. Ayan po, magdadagdag tayo ng table para umabot sa 21st term. Step number 4, repeat the step number 3 until we reach the 21st term. mag lang tayo ng common difference para umabot tayo sa 21st term. Okay, yung 84 ay nasa 7th term. Plus 12, 96. Nakikita nyo ba yung A1 hanggang A7? Yan po ay ang symbol ng terms. Proceed na tayo. Sa 96 plus 12, 108 plus 12, 
120 plus 12 132 nasa 11 term na tayo plus 12 144 nasa 12 term na plus 12 156 nasa 13 plus 12 168 nasa 14 term na okay plus 12 we have 180 plus 12 192 plus 12 204 plus 12 216 plus 12 228 plus 12 240 nasa 28 term na tayo isa na lang plus 12 we have 252 Yan po ang ating 21st term. Ito po yung ating mga missing term. 60 for the 5th term. 72 for the 6th term. Then 252 for the 21st term. Di ba madali lang yung counting or adding method? Pero paano kung umabot sa 100 yung hinahanap na missing term. Applicable pa ba yung count or adding method? Sigurado, aabutin kayo dyan ng isang oras para umabot sa 100 term. Sabi nga nila, it takes time to realize. Parang pag-ibig lang yan. Nagpagod ka ng mahabang panahon sa kanya pero napunta lang pala sa iba. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> All right. Andito na po tayo sa isang paraan na kung saan gagamit tayo ng formula. Ito po yung formula niya. A sub n is equal A sub 1 plus quantity n minus 1 times D. Yan po ang lagi nyo tatandaan na formula. Then, Next natin ay yung mga symbols. Yan po. Yung D, yan po ang common difference. Yung A sub N is the nth term. Yung N naman ay the number of term. At saka yung A sub 1 is the first term. Yan po. Then, okay ito, symbols. A sub 1 ay ang first term. A sub 2, second term. A sub 3, third term. A sub 4, fourth term. Ito na po yung given arithmetic sequence. How to find the 21st term using the formula. Okay po. Andyan na yung ating formula. And given arithmetic sequence. Kailangan natin ng mga steps. Step number 1. Find the common difference or D. Di ba sa pagkuha ng common difference, we subtract second term minus the first term or A sub 2 minus A sub 1. We have 24 minus 12 is equal to 12. Then next, step number 2, determine the first term. Okay, yung first term natin ay 12. Okay, 12. Then next, Step, find the symbol for the unknown term. So, yung unknown o yung hinahanap ay 21st term. So, kaya naman, A sub 21 yung A sub N natin. Next, find the number of term. Ang number of term ay magbibase doon sa A sub N. Yung N doon is 21, kaya naman yung number of N is 21. Then, yung apat na yan ay ito na. So, D is equal to 12. A sub 1 is equal to 12. A sub N is equal to A sub 21. Then, N is equal to 21. Next is, write the equation and use the formula. Yun na. Yung D natin, o common difference, i-substitute na natin. Okay, yung D. 
okay para dyan yung a sub 1 or the first term is 12 then a sub n yun then um, n yung 1 natin is constant okay isosolve na natin yung una natin isosolve ay yung nasa parenthesis sa pag solve apply po natin yung pimdas dito Parenthesis, multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. 21 minus 1 equals 20. Next, multiply 20 times 12. 20 times 12 equals 240. Pagkatapos natin mag-multiply, mag-add naman tayo ng 12 plus 240. Then the, the result is 252. Okay, the 21st term of arithmetic sequence is equal to 252. Ang dali lang, di ba? Okay, next missing term tayo. Try pa nga natin yung isa para mas malinaw. Okay, dito, anong term ba yung hinahanap natin? Of course, ito ay the fifth term. Okay, then yung symbol niya is a sub 5. Yung tanong or yung magiging tanong ay how to find the fifth term using formula. Yun po. Ito na po yung tanong nasa fifth term. Para ma-solve natin yung missing term, kailangan natin ng mga steps. Okay, step number 1, find the common difference or D. Okay, yung D natin is 12. Subtract lang natin yung a sub 3 minus a sub 2. Pwede naman gamitin kahit a sub 2 minus a sub 1. a sub 3 minus a sub 2. We have 36 minus 24 is equal to 12. Step number 2, determine the first term. Okay, the first term is 12. Okay. Then next, find the symbol of the unknown term. Yung unknown natin is fifth term. Kaya naman, yung a sub n is e sub 5. Then yung n natin, or number of term, is 5. Okay, nandito na po sila. We have d is equal to 12, e sub 1 is equal to 12, e sub n is equal to a sub 5, and n is equal to 5. Okay, yan po yung formula. Then, equation, then formula, then substitute. Ayan po, sinabtitute na natin. So, next is solve. So, unahin natin yung nasa parenthesis, 5 minus 1. Okay, subtract lang natin. We have 4. Then, next, we have 4 times 12. Okay. Then, we have 48. So, yung na iwan is 12 plus 48. Then, the result is 60. So, meaning to say, the fifth term of arithmetic sequence is 60. Diba? Napakadali lang. Alamin muna natin kung anong term ito. Okay, anong term kaya ito? Ito ay sixth term. Okay, yung symbol niya ay a sub 6. Yung tanong magiging how to find the sixth term using formula. Okay, andyan na yung ating given arithmetic sequence. Kailangan natin ng mga steps. Step number 1. Find D or the common difference. Okay, that is 12. Next, determine the first term, which is 12, yung first term. Then, next, find the symbol for the unknown term, which is E sub 6. Yung N natin is 6. Then, ito, yung apat na isa substitute natin sa ating formula. Then, Write the equation, then substitute. Okay, nandiyan na po yung mga sinabtitute natin. Then, solve. So,
so 6 minus 1 is equal to 5 then 5 times 12 is equal to 60 add 12 plus 60 is equal to 72 therefore the sixth term of arithmetic sequence is 72 how diba ang dali dali lang ito lang talaga yung ating tatandaan para makuha natin yung mga missing term ng ating arithmetic sequence. Yan po. Then, yung mga symbols. Yung D, yung E sub N, yung N, then E sub 1. Bago tayo magtapos, nais ko munang pasalamatan yung mga nanood ng ating first video at doon sa mga nanalo. Abangan nyo pa po yung mga bago kong videos. Manood, manalo, at matuto sa ating mga videos. Huwag niyong kalimutang i-click, i-subscribe, i-like, at i-share yung mga videos. Maraming salamat. Maraming maraming salamat mga kamatibay. Gusto mo bang manalo ng 50 instant load? Try mo na ito.